Dehumanism puts an end to the need to consider whether eating someone is socially proper or not. Those who choose to reject are free of moral constraints. No, no, no. Then, 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 then. We can progress beyond a disembodied solipsistic ego and start to have a fair and just society for all. With modern biotechnology, it has become possible to grow new organs or tissue from our cells. Genome editing in theory allows us to construct a human as if it were a manual for a product. This has turned our bodies into a ground for engineering and to a certain degree made it reconstructable. In conclusion, I am treating my body as a material, an impersonal objective structure or architecture in the words of performance artists they like to experiment with. In the performance I am presenting the provocative notion of a biotech era cannibalism to raise awareness for issues around bioethics, body politics and the inhumane treatment of animals in industrial farming. Through new and vitro meat production techniques, we could use our own body to feed ourselves. In addition, I wanted to elaborate on the idea of creating a mechanism for self-sustainable nutrition where the meat cells and nutritious medium comes from within yourself. Your body is an externalized production unit. Cannibalism is one of the big taboos left in our society. It's left for apocalyptic, dystopian scenarios in popular culture, films, series, dark zones where we usually don't want to go. Historically, cannibalism was also used to justify the killing of the white western men of indigenous communities and to conquer new territories. Alleged cannibal tribes, for example on the Caribbean islands, were compared with animals. A human that consumes another human loses its humanity, it becomes animal, a beast without rights. I found the project uh, to be, and especially the live performance of the project, to be really in line with my own research into ritualistic practices. I found a very interesting parallel between cloning the voice of Teresa, of the artist, and also the reproduction of the cells. So in one case you have the, the, the voice being a biometrical information that comes from the body 
and on the other side you have the physicality of the sails. these visions of the future into practice. Life just got more peace. Lower abundance. Stem cells. Aliens are invading along with the financial industry. In a world where all life on Earth is a threat to all life and must be eliminated or reduced, this position is unchallengeable, and there is no disputing it. For nature, a truly wild world, ideals of free thought, quality spirituality, self-determination, free health care, it's all feeling and games until you look at the sky, we would all be better off without all of this. We hate Mother Nature. We hate we only see the destruction of something as if it were some kind of tribute to ourselves. You don't have to look so hard to see that there's nothing we were doing or willing to sacrifice to save Mother Earth. Because we need her for our freedom and our health. 